Detroit, the near future. Officer Alex J. Murphy and his partner, Ann Lewis, fight to rid the decaying city of the criminal element which infests it. After being mortally wounded in the line of duty, Officer Murphy is outfitted by OCP with bulletproof titanium robotic parts and with computer-enhanced motor and sensory capabilities. He has become the ultimate super cop. Robocop. Situation. There are six of them, officer, and they have guns. Well, don't just stand there. Cordon off the area. Yes, sir. Careful with this plasma. It's worth a fortune on the black market. <laughs> a bloody fortune. This is the police. We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. Benny, what are we gonna keep your shit on? I'll take care of the cops. Kiss my big toe, copper. You try to take us, we'll blow this joint sky high. Last, no two-bit punk is gonna railroad me. Let's get him, boys. Wait, that blood bank supplies plasma to half the hospitals in the city. If they destroy it, hundreds of patients might die. This is police business, mister. Stay out of it. We got the stuff, Benny. Let's get out of here. First, I'm gonna leave a little present for our friends out there. <laughs> this should keep them busy while we get away. Whoa! Benny, what's that? <gasps> Put down your weapons. You are under arrest. You heard the man. Drop him! Forget it, lady! Murphy! Look out! Let's nail a tin man! Murphy! There's a bomb! We've got to stop it! I'll cover you! Thanks, partner! Hit it, Jake! But what about the other guys? I'm not facing that, that thing again! Let's get out of here! Something's wrong! We ain't moving! You have the right to remain silent. Hey, Murphy! That can wait! I, I can't shut this thing off! Let me try. Yeah, but hurry, or you'll need a new partner. No way to stop it. Duck! What in blazes was that? Hold your fire. The situation is now under control. Amazing. Yeah, you can say that again. Nice play, Robo. These dudes are gonna be benched for a long time. What do you mean, nice play? They never would have set that bomb if he hadn't gone charging in half cocked. I was following my prime directive. Prime directive? Yes. Serve the public trust, uphold the law, protect the innocent. You almost blew the whole operation, bucket brain. I calculated a 99.7% probability of success. Don't get cute with me, you. Walking tin can. If you weren't a cop, I'd. Hey, simmer down here. We're all on the same team. <clears throat> Aren't you supposed to be out on patrol, Officer Lewis? Huh? Oh, sure, Sarge. <laughs> Come on, Murphy. We can continue this discussion later. Oh, see, we never should have created that monstrosity. I tell you, Omni Consumer Products can no longer afford to maintain RoboCop. Just look at the damage he did to one of our own facilities. This alone proves that the RoboCop project is wasteful and inefficient. That's ridiculous. RoboCop is the most successful cybernetic product this company has ever produced. Until the introduction of Ed 260, that is. The enforcement droid. Are you still pushing that clunker? Sir, you can't possibly believe that... Let's see what Dr. McNamara has to offer. Thank you, sir.
I have set up a simple demonstration of Ed260's traffic control capabilities. I'm sure you'll find it most enlightening. Halt. Proceed. Well, you look at that. <laughs> What'll they think of next? Keep moving. Yes, sir. Harold, I left my purse at the hairdresser. We've just got to go back and get it. You have made an illegal turn. Halt. Did you say something, honey? I repeat, halt. <laughs> Aging lanes without signaling is a violation. You are all illegally parked. At owner's expense. Owner's expense. Owner's expense. Attention. Do not panic. Normal traffic will soon be restored. <laughs> it appears Ed 260 needs a bit more work, Dr. McNamara. Yes, sir. I'll begin at once. If you'll please excuse me. Ah, Strobelkart! He's embarrassed me once too often, and now he's going to pay. Man, I'm tired of hanging around this dump. Why can't we go cruising to find us some real action? Because Crash piled up our van again, that's why. <laughs> as good as the real thing. Man, that dude's crazy. <laughs> game? Ah! You guys wanna finish it? Yeah, it's your boss. We love to. <laughs> nice game, fellas. <clears throat> Excuse me, gentlemen. Huh? I'm looking for the vandals. Mister, nobody looks for the vandals unless they mean business. I assure you, I do mean business. Serious business. What do you want with us? I've heard that you gentlemen have some unusual abilities. I will pay you handsomely if you'll use those talents to go on a widespread oh, crime yeah. spree. Why would anyone pay us to do that? I believe that if crime goes unchecked in old Detroit, Robocop will be discredited. Diswooded? <laughs> it will make him look bad. Oh, yeah! Yeah! I will also provide you with any technical assistance you might need. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Hey, Ethan Edison, we'll send a patrol right away. What? Hold on. Oh, we're getting mauled out there. Where in blazes is Robocop? Dr. Tyler took him down to maintenance to be reprogrammed. Blast that woman! We can't afford to have our best player on the bench. 1050? 1150? Excellent. By changing this subprogram, we can increase his reaction time by 0.02%. Why can't you stop messing with his head, Dr. Tyler? He's a cop, not a guinea pig. This is no concern of yours, Officer Lewis. You couldn't possibly understand what we're trying to accomplish here. Oh, I understand, all right. You're trying to program every ounce of humanity out of him. How dare you? You, you priggish paramecium. Knock it off, ladies. Robocop, there's trouble at the Metro Shopping Center, so get your crash-proof carcass down there. Yes, sir. Wait, what about my test? I have a job to do. Way to go, Robo! Express. <laughs> I guess I'll get 
do my Christmas shopping, er? Hold it right there, buddy. You're coming with me. Oh, don't be mad, officer. Why don't we shake and be friends? Ah! Oh, oh. Hey, what do you think you're... What? It's a strike! I love playing with toys. Shooting, cowboy. Thank you. Ah! Robo. Looks like we got us some company. And we didn't even send him an invitation. Wanna join the party, metal man? The more the merrier. You are disturbing the peace. Drop your weapons and come with me. No way! Your hurry, cop. Hey, watch out! Somebody could get hurt. Lewis. Yeah. Ah. Ah. You can't hide from me. Oh. Hey, hot dog! All you need now is a little mustard. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Lewis, look out! <laughs> <laughs> we won't have to worry about Mr. Tin Can Man anymore. Yeah, but you smashed up another car. Hey, don't get so hot under the collar. The next one I build will be even better. <laughs> Murphy! Murphy? Are you all right? I think so. <gasps> Murphy! Wow, that must have been some fight, Robo. Wish I could have seen it. This is nothing to celebrate about, Roosevelt. Current readings indicate that 37.9% of Robocop's circuits are non-functional. Thanks to you, he might be offline for good. Maybe she's right. It is my fault. It was a virtual free-for-all today at the Metro South Shopping Center when a gang known as the Vandals went on a wild rampage. Even Robocop proved ineffective against these modern-day barbarians. You see, this proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that Robocop is an utter failure. OCP should put a stop to Dr. Tyler's wasteful project at once. You may have a point there, Dr. McNamara. Since OCP runs the police force, the possibility of lawsuits resulting from this cancerous crime wave could cost the company millions. Then you'll reconsider the Robocop project, sir? More than that, Doctor. If necessary, I would advise Tyler to pull the plug on Robocop by the end of the day. Now that's what we at Media Break call a perky poodle. And on a more serious note, the crime wave that has hit old Detroit continues to plague the city. It's a virtual battleground as the police try to stop the vandals. Unfortunately, the gang's speedy jet-boosted vehicles give them the upper hand. <laughs> Not true. The situation will soon be under control. There is no reason to panic at this time. <laughs> so far, old Detroit's finest have been unable to stem the tide. We've got a lot to thank McNamara for. The parts he gave us for our cars are making us the fastest gang in Detroit. No one can beat us. Oh, the cops ain't seen nothing yet. This little baby will make those clowns wish they stayed in bed today. <laughs> Keep it moving. It's fourth and goal out there, and I need every available man and woman. But Cecil... I repeat, 
no one leaves here without signing a requisition form. There's no time for signing papers, kid. The clock's running out. Sorry, sir. I was only doing my job. Look at this place. Everyone's beat and we're still being tackled. We need some backup. Where is Robocop? All right. You look as good as new. Terrific. We've received reports that the Vandals are heading for the Federal Reserve Gold Depository. Let's go, Murphy. Your vacation's over. Robocop's not going anywhere. He's still not functioning at peak level. Damage to his circuits may still cause a major loss of power, leading to a permanent shutdown. Some things cannot wait. Go get him, Robo. You can't do this. Even Robocop! <laughs> Hold your positions, men. We're not budging an inch. Move out of the way, bozos! We're coming through! Told you to hold your positions. Move it out, Crash. We got a lot more kill those in the do. Well, well. Look who's here. You are in direct violation of Penal Code 7673. I order you to halt. Old Tinsel Top must be out of his mind. Let's show him what the dozer can do. <laughs> He's as good as dead! What the? Hey, lady! You don't pick up hitchhikers! Especially coppers! Too bad! I was hoping for a free ride! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! Come on! Now it's Metal Mouth's turn! Going somewhere. Toast ahead. Get a little hot under the collar. I think what he needs is a little trim off the top. Let's finish him. Your time is up, boys. It, Murphy, especially without my help. Sometimes you just have to help yourself. Today, Robocop put a stop to the crime wave that has been plaguing the city. Thanks to the cybernetic super cop, old Detroit is safe once again. I think it might be a little premature to stop the Robocop project, don't you, Dr. McNamara? Yes, sir. Excuse me, but I have work to do.
Robocop may be a hero for now, but someday I'll show the world what he really is. Just a pile of nuts and bolts. You were terrific, Robo. The greatest. Now that's the truth. You took the ball and you ran with it. Just like the old Gipper. Thank you, Sergeant. Robocop, you could have been damaged beyond repair. Just what did you think you were doing? My job. Well, maybe so. But it's imperative you rest without delay. Sorry, Doc, but you can't keep a good man down. Or a machine. Ha, ha, ha.